Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I know this has been an every video thing lately, but please do not mind the background. I am still in the process of trying to reorganize my office once again. As you have seen in my video coming, oh, you actually haven't seen it. In my video on Friday, you will see that I have actually like figured out my like reading area and like my area for my book videos. And that looks really good. Really good. I can't wait for you guys to see it on Friday. But, but, today is a makeup video and you still get this travesty behind me. It, I promise that better backgrounds are coming. I promise. So today I am going to be doing an empties video. This is going to be a mixture of March and April. I did not really have any products at the end of March. So I decided to wait till the end of April. And it's the end of April. So, so let's just hop into it. First things first, boring Tom's Luminous White Toothpaste. I really enjoyed this. I don't think it made my teeth any whiter, but um, I did enjoy it. Mine was in the Clean Mint flavor, and this one has fluoride. We're just going to leave that down there. I really like it. I would repurchase, um, not necessarily for the whitening aspect, but for other aspects. Adam's Everyman Jack Body Wash in the Scent Citrus. This is his favorite. It is my favorite. And definitely plan on repurchasing that. Um, he also has this Axe um, Gold with Oud Wood and Fresh Vanilla Scent. I did not like this. He doesn't... He doesn't mind it, but definitely not like does not like it compared to his Everyman Jack. These AOA Studio Wipes, they barely took off swatches off my hand. So um I would not really recommend this. So no. That's from uh Shop Miss A, by the way. Um he used up the Degree of Motion Sense Deodorant with Active Shield. He said this was okay, um, but he is in the process of converting to aluminum-free deodorants, just like me. So, yes, but at the same time, like, his mom will buy him deodorants that have aluminum in them. So, like, we'll see how that goes. Um, I used up another Vanilla Bean Noel hand soap by Bath & Body Works. I personally will not be repurchasing because Bath & Body Works is not cruelty-free, but Ulta has some foaming hand soaps that I will be purchasing. Um, I used up a beauty blender. It is ripped somewhere. Oh, it's ripped right here. So I decided it was time. It was time. Um, let's go on to some products that I decluttered. I decluttered the L'Oreal Paris Age Perfect Cell Renewal Rosy Tone Cream. I also decluttered... The L'Oreal Paris Age Perfect Hydro Nutrition uh, Moisturizer. Um, these were so dry. Like, they were difficult to put on, first off. And it, they just weren't good. So, no. I would not repurchase those, even if L'Oreal did become cruelty-free. Um, I also decluttered the CVS Pharmacy Daily Renewing Cream. I didn't, this has an anti-aging complex and I did not even get this on my face because I opened it up to use it and it just smells awful. Awful. I don't know if it got, went bad or if it just smells awful, but it smells awful. So, bye bye Um... I have the Clean and Clear a Blackhead Eraser Scrub with Salicylic Acid Acne Medication. Um, I was using this as my face scrub for a little while and near the end of its life, Adam started using it because he had broken out. Uh, he enjoyed it. I did not. Shocker. I am like the pickiest person when it comes to facial scrubs and this, this was not a good one. So let's see. Batiste. Batiste Dry Shampoo Plus with a hint of color, Divine Dark. Um, I really like this. It makes it a lot easier to put dry shampoo on my hair because as you can see, my hair is dark brown at the moment. And um, just saying, it says not tested on animals, 
but um it's not on logical harmony either um it is actually on logical harmony's avoid brands or was it on her gray area? I'll have to double check. If it's on her Avoid brands, then I will not be pur repurchasing Batiste. But if it's in the gray area, then I probably will. Um, as of right now, I am purchasing like gray area ones. So like Sexy Hair, for instance. Their website says that they don't test on animals, but Logical Harmony has them on like their gray area because they haven't heard back from them. Like they've emailed them and just hasn't heard back from them. So... Depending on what list this is on will determine whether or not I buy a Batiste again. I have so many backups, though, of Batiste that it'll be a while before I completely run out. Um, I used up the Arbon Sea Source Detox Spa Foaming Sea Salt Scrub. This was okay, but it's an MLL, MLM brand, so I don't see myself repurchasing. Um, I don't know anyone that sells it, and honestly... It's not as good as my favorite scrub, which is the Kate Somerville. So, boom. Um, I did use up the Body Shop Vitamin E Intense Moisture Serum. I really enjoyed this, and unfortunately, I think the Body Shop discontinued it because I can't find it on their website or the Ulta website. So, I'm really sad that they discontinued this because it's so good, and it smelled really good. But, and this was like the air pump kind of way so instead of going down it went up but like you couldn't tell because it's like it looks like it's full but it's not it i promise you it's empty i tried for like 10 minutes because i had it on half of my face um but it was really really good and i hope they bring it back and if they do i will purchase the crap out of it um the next thing i went through actually is the Avon, a new Ultimate Age Repair Cream Cleanser. I got this for my mother-in-law. It was okay. The smell was kind of weird, but it's not my holy grail. I've still yet to find a holy grail face wash that's cruelty-free, so yeah. Although, I am currently using the Glycolic um, Face Wash by um, Mario Badescu kind of like that one not gonna lie but unfortunately because it has glycolic acid in it i would need a separate face wash for um when i use retinol so yeah um i did use up the anivia sparkle moisturizing body wash with diamond power diamond powder and white calla blossom scent um to me all the anivia body washes smell the same um, just kind of perfumed, um, but I want to say it dried out my skin, but I wouldn't necessarily say it moisturized. Uh, I bought this a while ago, long before I went cruelty-free, long before going cruelty-free was even a thought in my mind. So, um, yeah, I think I still have one or two more of these that I need to go through. Um, I went through the Matrix Smooth Setter Smoothing Cream. I did not I did not find this special. Um, first off, it's not cruelty free, so I would not repurchase. But I didn't find that it really did anything special for my hair. I'm actually really, really, really liking the um, sexy hair, soy. You want it, like the sexy hair, healthy hair, soy. You want it all kind of spray stuff. I've really been enjoying that. I feel like my hair hasn't been nearly as frizzy with that. And I think that I think that might be the only reason why I'm still purchasing it even though it's on logical harmony's gray area um but anyway i did not find this like extraordinary i followed the directions um i still thought my hair was super frizzy and the last product is the matrix sugar shine system illuminating mist this is just a shine spray i really like this spray it's a really good shine spray and i'm sad that matrix isn't cruelty free i have like two or three more backups so it'll be a while before i go through it but I'm trying to find another shine spray that actually works for me it's gonna be a sad day a sad say a day those are all the products I used up in the months of March and April, um, mostly April. I think there was only like two products in there for March. Um, I think it, that's because I tried using 
these two moisturizers in March and because of that I was not doing my skincare also there's no makeup because in March I did the bare bones challenge so yeah well, that's that so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do please subscribe down below and hit the like button leave a comment of the products that you have recently used up whether they are household beauty or likewise and I will talk to you guys later Bye.